Hello guys, welcome back to my tutorial. So I hope you learned something in the last part. So let's just quickly run our last application and see what we got. So we basically set up our UI and we fetched uh, data from the JSON and we are printing out the base rate right now. So let's get started with the table view thingy. So first uh, let's apply table view like raw table view. So first we need a protocol which is table view delegate. No, we need data source. So UI table view data source and we will assign our table view our data source and I'll get rid of this fetch data thing right now. So basically I will say, uh, what was that? It's conversion table view dot data source is equal to self. Actually, I need that fetch data thing, so I'll just keep it here. Somehow my C just started. I don't know how, but it, it did. So anyways, I'm keeping the fetch data. And uh, so we need two functions for table view to work, which is number of rows in section. And another one is cell for row at index path. So first of all, let's return this number of rows in section, OK? So we are dealing with API, so it works sometimes, it doesn't work sometimes, so we need to do it under if let. So if let, uh, currency fetched, you can say anything, currency fetched, fetched is equal to USD, then we'll return currency fetched dot uh, rates dot count. Simple. And here we will say let sell equal to UI table view, we will create some of the basic cell style and this is value one and this uh, we don't need reusable identifier and here we will say cell, uh, okay again we will do the same thing if let currency fetched and equal to usd and here actually okay oh uh, yeah let's do it under here and now we will say cell dot text label dot text is equal to now we need to do array thingy here we will pass in our usd we will say rates and now we will say keys we need the keys okay and here i will pass in the index path dot row i hope this works so i, I i'll give you the written value then just wait so I'll just return a UI table view cell here. So UI table view cell, if nothing works, that's what we need to do. So what does this say? Value of optional type generator, not unwrapped. Did you mean to use this or this? Let's do this. Okay. What's the matter, bro? Okay, it's just, I guess it's the text thing. So let's how we will tackle this problem. So let me do array again brackets. I'll say USD. Oh, I, I should have said currency fetched and this will be our rates. And now we need to get the keys. OK, my bad, guys, my ga my bad index path dot row. And this this should work, 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 work. Yeah, it worked. And here we will just return zero. I forgot to say zero here. So if, if the thing did not work, we'll just return zero. Simple, right? And now we need to assign the values. Again, a bit tricky part. So we have it there. So I'll just say if, if let uh, rate is num. I don't know, maybe, that's right. So I will say array, it's a big thing. So just pay attention. So array open brackets currency fetched dot rates dot values and here i will say index path dot row okay you guys are thinking i should do this in some another variable so why not let's do it uh, in another variable so let selected rate is equal to paste it here bam and here we will just pass in selected rate so that it works and let's hope it works and i will just say okay for conditional binding must have option and actually i i got the problem so we just need to assign it it's already a double so i'll just say cell dot detail text label dot text 
is equal to say oh we need to do in string interpolation as it is a double selected rate and bam so the last thing we need to do is whenever uh, we fetch data we will just get this uh, out this printing and here we will just say our conversion table dot reload data and run the application come on man you're taking my charm okay so it's launching it's launching it's launching uh, uh, uh. oh oh it worked it worked did it it didn't work okay what's the matter okay we did say fetch data here so let's just copy this and paste it here after the table view thingy why it's not working oh 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 we forgot to say return cell here so if let everything works we need to return the cell man we worked so hard for this and we forgot to return so dumb of me even i am learning i always say that so we have the rates now but we still cannot calculate this so let's calculate so where is our button action and here it is so i will say if if let i get string i get string from the text so i will say uh, what was that rate text rate field dot text and if let is double is equal to double and here i will pass in my is i get string thing and i will say now i will just okay now we need a variable which is a which we will call it a base rate so base rate and is equal to 1.0 make sure you type 1.0 or you just say explicitly it's double okay but it's dumb to do that if you like option click this it's already a double okay but you need to add this 0 0.0 don't forget that and here under the logic we will just say selected rate we will just multiply it by our base rate so base rate is base rate and multiply by the conversion rate or something it doesn't matter so here we will just say uh, we will just change our base rate to is double and kaboom a uh, few of the things what we can do is I will show them later so I'll just say 50 here and convert okay uh, what we need to do is after we change we add the base rate we just need to say uh, uh, convert uh, fetch data let's do that so that we get the fresh data as well and some things you can do with table view are first of all i will disable selection okay so what what i mean by selection is this ugly gray color so let's say conversion table dot just type selection and you get nothing no we get something which is allow selection and this will be false then what i like to do is i also don't like this vertical scroll bar thing the thing which you see it here so I'll disable it as well. So vertical, uh, show vertical scroll in a little blah, 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 blah. And this will be false as well. And uh, something else, something else. Ah, I guess no. Let's run the application for one last time. Oh, I forgot to do. So we will say text field. We will say rate field. Oh, uh, I'll show you what I mean. So whenever I type something here, it's in the like left thing. Let's make it just center. So rate field dot text alignment is equal to center oh it's dot center yeah run the application for one last time and finally 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 we are done with this part but it's really amazing i know that so i'll just type in a b c d doesn't work you can do one dash one doesn't work so i'll just select this one dash one doesn't work but only if you enter 50 you see the charm so guys that's how you parse json that's how you use currency and i hope you implement something better than this so if you have any questions post them in comments feel free to ask me on twitter as well and if you like my video thumbs up and subscribe me for future videos peace